YouTube. Hey, I just want to send a shout out right quick. Madamsley, those of you that liked the video, that commented, the subscribers, I really, really thank y'all, man, for showing me some love. I appreciate that. Please don't forget to do the same on this video, though. I'll definitely respond to all the comments. Today is a good day. This is gonna be Locked and Loaded episode two, all right? I actually pre-recorded the unbox and open this up, and unfortunately, my camera angle was jacked up, so now I had to do a retake. So you guys aren't gonna to get to see me, you know, flip the knife, open the bag. Not like it's really that big a deal, but this is still an unboxing and an unveiling of what came in the mail for me today in regards to updating my EDC and to getting a new customized holster for my concealed carry pistol. This actually came from Tuxton Tactical out of Texas. So I ordered this probably December 31st and it's now February 16th and it just got here. So it took them a little time. They're processing, their, their lead time is definitely out there. Essentially it came in the mail today. I cut the top off with my, my knife here. And then um, what came inside was the holster came inside of a Ziploc bag and my receipt was inside of there as well as a decal sticker, which I seem to have misplaced somewhere with their logo on it. Yep, got it. So it came with a decal sticker. Now I ordered a customized holster so that I got to choose the coloring. Um, I got to choose all that stuff and I'll get to that in a minute. I'll say this, I was a little salty that it didn't come in a box. Like I really thought that a box would have been nice, but I didn't pay them to send me a box. So this is no knock against the company. It's package and presentation. I mean, it came safely. There was no dings or anything from what I could tell. Nothing was missing or broken. So, you know, it got to me safely in one piece and they got me the actual product that I ordered and paid for. Once again, this was not a sponsorship. They didn't send this here so I could do a review. That's not what today is. It's not a review. I'm just doing a brief overview of what came in the package, opening it up and freshly how it is out of the box. I'm going to wear it for the next couple weeks until my other customized holster comes in and when that gets in then i'll do an actual review of this one all right let's break this down all right this is the pistol now it's already been safety checked there's no clip but you know it don't ever hurt just to get in there and take another another look no clip no bullets in the gun um if you haven't seen locked and loaded episode one i suggest you go check that out i talk a little bit about the specs on this gun this is a glock 48 i kind of run through all of the aftermarket parts I have on it, whatnot, if you're interested in that kind of thing. As far as what came out, boom, it was the Tuxton Tactical Glock 48 PL Mini 2 compatible light bearing holster. It came and I actually ordered it customized with red carbon fiber. And I must say like fresh out the box, Tidex is like really strong. Um, it's really high quality. You can tell that this is not a flimsy product. Like this is put some care into it. I love how the hardware has like the, you know, they got the red hardware going around the screws, which is so dope. It came with a claw and I actually ordered an additional belt clip because I wanted some versatility. So there are times when like if I have a tucked in shirt or whatever, I'll dress up in a suit, right? I can't necessarily wear like appendix because it'll be showing. And so I wanted something that I could move around and that's the reason I ordered this holster. So it's something I can wear at the four o'clock position, at the small of the back and still be concealed, you know, in different environments of clothing. And that's the reason this doesn't have a spare mag carrier or whatever. I'm just gonna keep running my additional mag carrier off to the side, um, off to my left side, my weak side, like I normally do. It also came with a cutout for the Olight PL Mini 2 charger. So that's so dope. I can actually take this holster off with my pistol inside of it. Show you here. Um, and then I can leave it on the chart. Like I put the charger right on. I don't have to take the pistol out or anything. That's so phenomenal. I love that. The sweat guard is right in line with the Glock 48. They actually do have a cutout for an optic, but because I do not have the MOS on this specific pistol, I don't have an optic. I'm not gonna get the slide mill. I'm gonna keep it stock. I'm actually looking for Glock 19 MOS. They're kind of sold out everywhere. Beautiful Kydex holster, beautiful pattern. They did an excellent job. I love how they put their logo in kind of inconspicuously. It's not overbearing, or overpowering. I love how they did the play on the colors, the black on the red. I mean, that's just awesome. Now, um, the claw came, the retention screws. I mean, this thing is highly, this is a really high quality product they put out. Yeah, Y'all gotta go give 
Tuxton Tactical, a shout out. Check them out. I got this off of Etsy. I'm sure they have an online store other than that, but that's what I got this one off of. And I must say the, the retention is like solid. Like if you know anything about handguns and concealed carry, this is what you want. That click, that means it's in there. Boom. Oh, okay, let me make sure I pass the test. I'm holding it by the claw, so I'm not pinching it and holding it in. You know, gentle shake. I mean, I'm not about to sit here and slam it out. I know that it will fall out if I shake it hard enough, but that right there is great retention, especially to be a light bearing holster. I can tell it's been really crafted, took some time on it, and they really customized it to fit like a glove, like plastic wrap my pistol, which is awesome. So I'm not gonna do a review once again, like I said, I didn't show this on the last video because my last holster didn't allow me to run my light, but this is the PL Mini 2 Valkyrie, the O-Lite. So that's what I run on my pistol. That's what I like to run on my pistol. And now that I have a holster that I can run it, I'm super excited because I don't have to worry about taking it off at night or taking it off when I go out because now this holster allows it. And the thing that made this company so cool is they did it not only for this gun, but they customized it for this aftermarket piece here, this Recover Tactical Rail. Shot with this quite a few times. I actually just had a tactical handgun, handgun class on Valentine's Day. And um, I use this primarily for the class. I also used another pistol of mine, which will be in another video. But um, I use this primarily for the class. And the rail runs, runs beautifully. It doesn't give me any problems or issues. So yeah, I think this is fire. This mug is fire. Shout out to Tuxton Tactical, man. Y'all did y'all's thing. Salute to them for making such a great product. I'm gonna run this nonstop until then, let you guys know what I really think about it in depth and do a review. But as far as out of the box, salute to Tuxton Tactical, man. And outside of that, y'all be safe, be cool. Thank y'all for joining. Please, again, drop some likes, drop some love. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or critiques. I love to hear them because I am definitely at the beginning stages of doing this thing and developing it. And I will talk to you guys on the next episode, all right? Locked and loaded, lifestyle and locks, thing to dang. Peace.